Hi, I'm Joe Polizzi, and this is the Content Inc. Podcast. Five minutes every Monday for content creators who desire to be content entrepreneurs. Hello, fine listeners. A quick update on the Content Inc. book. You know, sales have gone really well. We managed to hit a few number one categories on Amazon, and the reviews have been great. Thank you so much for everyone who has reviewed the book. But unfortunately, we've stalled on reviews, and the overall numbers just aren't what I feel they need to be. So I need your help. And I figure if you're listening to this podcast, there's a good chance you've either read the new version of Content Inc., or perhaps you are thinking about it. Now, if you are or have, and you'd be willing to give an honest review on Amazon.com, I will send you $25 worth of tilt coin for your efforts. I know, amazing, right? That's amazing. So just email me the link to your published Amazon review to jp at thetilt.com, and then I'll shoot you over that $25 in tilt coin. Yes, it's that easy. Thank you. I was looking back on some of the almost 300 now Content Inc. podcast episodes produced over eight or so years, and I found that one of the most popular was on this thing called Tabula Raza. After graduating from Bowling Green State University in 1995, I left for Penn State University to study all things rhetoric with a focus on persuasive writing and speaking. And it was then that I first studied the works of Aristotle. Aristotle, the Greek philosopher, born in 384 BC, believed that the knowledge we have is a result of how we perceive and interact with the world. Now, in essence, the human brain is a tabula rasa to Aristotle, or clean slate, capable of learning, changing, and adapting. Now, this means that your business can and should be a tabula rasa. Now, let me explain. Much of the way we behave as marketers, as businesses, is based on the past and the success of mass media. Glorious mass media helped us reach hordes of people with our messaging, all at one time. We simply found out what channels our customers were hanging out in, and then we bought space to promote our products and services in that channel, something that we call renting time. If we distract enough of these people from the content they they were actually engaged in, then they might buy from us. Now, if you woke up tomorrow and had a clean slate as a business owner or a marketer, would you really spend the majority of your marketing dollars on this type of approach? Never in a million years. We wouldn't go out searching for who is attracting our customers and then rent time from those people we would find a way to attract those customers to us. We would create a beacon of light for our prospects and customers. We would help our customers live better lives and acquire better jobs. And because of this, they would ultimately reward us by buying our products and services. If our business was a clean slate, we'd set up marketing as publishing operations. We would own our marketing channels instead of renting them. We would build marketing assets, and if we ever rented space, we would do so sparingly, or we would rent space to promote our content. But most businesses interrupt because it's what we've always done. Most businesses employ marketing zombies, I'm sorry to say, and they have no idea that there is actually a better way. Now, thankfully, you know, I know, that there is a better way. You have an opportunity to create a clean slate for your organization, for your marketing. You have the opportunity to become the leading informational expert in your niche. Yes, this takes longer than interruption, but you are creating an asset. You've learned to put away your preconceived notions about marketing, to focus on patience, consistency, and delivering value to your audience each and every day. It takes time, but it works, and the promise is real. Tabula rasa, clean slate. You make it happen. Good luck.